Hello, welcome back. I am Carla Estelle, and I've got another helpful hint for you today when teaching your children. A couple weeks ago, I showed you the flip chart and how it's an easy way to teach reading of the three-letter words when children have trouble remembering the sounds. How that I have taken and put a picture with each letter so that they can just look at the picture if they have forgotten what sound the letter makes. Today I wanted to show you my larger flip chart that I have for a school setting or, you know, a circle of, of six-year-olds sitting on the floor. It works much better to use the larger flip chart. And your flip chart will help your child learning to read most of the three-letter words and even some of the four-letter words. However, there are some sounds that can get pretty tricky, especially the O. The AW sound is made by so many other letter combinations other than just the O. So my son, who always wanted to know why, why are these letters changing their sounds? And there is a very good logical explanation as to why so many letter combinations can make the same sound, but it gets a little bit complicated. It's mainly because America is a melting pot of so many different nationalities, and we have borrowed spelling rules from different countries. But then also, when America broke with Great Britain, and Noah Webster was putting together the American Dictionary and deciding how our words should be spelled, he wanted a break from Great Britain, so he changed some of the spelling rules then as well. So it can get a little bit complicated. But instead of explaining all that to my son, I decided to make up a little storybook. And in the storybook, the letters, I've given them all personality, and then the letters go through and explain in story format what their sounds are and how it differs. So what we're going to do today is we are going to um, change locations, and instead of just talking to you moms and giving you your helpful hints, I'm actually going to read the first story of the importance of O to, to the audience. So gather your kids. This is one mainly for the kids. And let's go have story time. Fun with phonics. The importance of O. O says, I am so important. Just look at all these words. I have a very important job, said O one day. There are so many words I am used to say. There is dot, cot, stop, and shop. I spend my day with a hop, hop, hop. From word to word, I never stop. Lock, dock, flock and rock, long and song, strong but wrong. Then there is hot dog, hog in a bog, and a frog on a log. Lost and cost, slot and plot, I sure am needed a lot. And there's little O with all of the different words that he says. Oh, this hopping about is making me so tired. I've just got to stop. Wait, you can't quit. There's more work to do. There, we've come to help you, said U, G, and H. So here's H, G, and U coming along to help. So U-G-H came alongside O and said, You ought not to stop. I, I just can't go on, said O. But together they made, bought, and brought, and thought. But then O got so tired. He even began to cough. I just can't go on. I must stop. So UGH grabbed an A and said, We caught you. See how the A is taking O's place? 
and they taught A to say ah too. Daughter, distraught, and naughty. And there's a little picture. Come on, A, come take O's place. A likes saying ah, so said to G.H., you can go on. I'll just haul around you, and together we'll make cause and because, and names like Paul and Saul. But you was beginning to tire, so he introduced A to his friend W. Saw, thaw, crawl, raw, straw, hawk, draw, paw, pawn, lawn. When W got winded, A was still going strong. He told W to sit for a spell while he took L along. Together they wrote with chalk and walked and talked. While among the corn stalks, K sat back and said, I'm going to stay here for a while. So long, A.L. That is when L spied his twin. And they were off again. Ball, fall, stall, tall, wall, call. When the end came in sight of that long list of words, and there was just a few more to go, all, mall, hall, O popped up and said, Thanks for all your help, but I'm quite rested now. I'll take over from here. So O hopped in doll and hollered the end. All right, and that's a fun little way of remembering all the different letter combinations that say ah. And in the back here is a long list of each one, your normal words that say ah because of an O. And then when U-G-H is along for bot, brought, thought, and cough. Then when A totally takes the place of O with cot, Taught, daughter, and naughty. Then here's your list of A W, saw, straw, thaw, crawl, raw, hawk, draw, paw, lawn, and dawn. Then your A U words, and your A L with a K words, and your double L words. That will take a little bit of the mystery out of the ah sound, and it's a fun little story, and it's a story that kids don't mind hearing over and over again. And if you start reading it to your three and four year olds, they'll have the words down pat by the time they're five and six. Another little story is the day you stepped on O's toe, and that introduces the ow sound, that O you make. Then there's the story about you, where he is out to confuse, because you is the other sound that is so confusing. There are so many combinations that say the uh sound. So he's got his own little story in there. And then there's a lot of little one-liners, like to help kids remember. Here's one. Sue will glue the blue star on the clue. And all of those words have the U-E. Here's a sentence that we use to help the U-R saying er. If you're hurt, go to the church, wait your turn, to see the nurse with the purple purse. And if they draw a little picture and write out the sentence, 
all of those words will help rem remind them. They'll group them together in a little group to help them remember you are is the er sound in those words. So this is just a combination of lots of little hints along with the fun stories. Here's one to keep the hear apart. You hear with your ear. So it's spelled with the E-A-R. So here's a short little sentence to help them remember how to spell peace with a piece of pie. And the word pie is there in peace. And the elephant that stepped on an ant to remember the ant there in elephant. And so forth. If the kids themselves come up with the little sentences, it actually helps them to remember better. But these are some to get them started. Right, I hope you and your kids like that little story out of my Fun with Phonics book. I have another book that is one long story, The Day the Letters Had Their Say. And this is the one where the letters are all going to court with the judge and working out all the agreements of who's going to say what and when and what the rules are going to be. So in this book, it's, at, it's story form, but it actually goes through almost all of the phonics rules in a fun way for the kids to learn. Alright, be sure to subscribe if you like these videos and if you want to get the weekly video right into your mailbox. And also please be sure to comment, especially if your kids really liked it, if it really helped them, or any of the other things that I've been showing you. Pass the word along to your friends and family and fellow homeschoolers, homeschooling moms. Anytime there's a particular topic that you would like me to cover, just drop me an email and I will see what I can do. Alright, until next time.